the sweep, and it's that quick and sudden. It is a Jacobo Chigari relies on movement. And the best Kazushi that Michaela can do here with Jenny is to have her step into the throne. So We're going to take a look at Ko Chigari. It's a one step basic approach to Ko Chigari, the minor and a reaping throw. So go ahead and take a step, step back, and she's going to step back and sweep. And it's that quick and sudden. It is a Jacobo Chigari relies on movement. And the best Kazushi that Michaela can do here with Jenny is to have her step into the throne. So let's look at that right away. So she's got a standard grip, and her, her position to, from Tori to Uki here is she's facing her, but she's slightly, as you can see, just slightly to her left, okay, because that gives her room to move. Now when she steps back, when Michaela steps back, look at, look at the foot movement there. See the angle? About a 45 degree angle. And that's important because that gives her, lets her generate force and power from that foot into the sweeping action and lead leg here. Okay? So come on back, ladies, and you can see it again. Go ahead and throw. That's that quick and sudden. Koichigari is a fast, sudden technique. It's not a big, spectacular one. It's one of the techniques called the Kowaza or minor techniques. And it's a, it's a very effective, um, it, it's a sneaky throw. And in the world of judo, the sneaky throw still throws for a pawn. Okay. By the way, if you're uki and practicing this, have light feet. Don't put all your weight in your front foot. What Shinny's doing, she's doing a, a basic application of a yumiashi, the normal walking step. She's just sliding forward, and she's, as a good uki, she's letting Michaela take her foot from her. And in real practice, again, this would be done by surprise, and Jenny wouldn't know it. 